Warning, the figure I'm reviewing today is a hentai figure, so there will be nudity involved. In saying that, you are watching the censored version. If you want to see the uncensored version, you can click this box right here anytime and it will take you to a new video. For this to work, you have to be logged in to your Google Plus account and your YouTube account, as the video that you'll be taken to will be age restricted, so you have to be 18 or above to watch it. If you are uncomfortable with nudity and you don't want to watch this video, that is completely fine. And may I suggest you watch this video or this video instead. This video is for reviewing purposes and it's to let you all know what the figure looks like before you buy it. So without further ado, let's get into the figure review. So I'm doing something a little bit different today. I have two figures here and they're both the same character but one's a suntan version and one's the normal version. So starting with this one, this is Tech Guyan's cover illustration Kie Okiyama suntan version 1 to 1.5 scale figure. She was a limited distribution and was released in September of 2015. She's fully cast offable, which means all her clothes can come off. I bought this second hand off of Ami Ami for 8,970 yen with shipping, or 123 New Zealand dollars. It was item A, box B, which means that there was some damage to the box, but I haven't seen any, which is pretty good. If you want to buy this figure, it is on Ami Ami at the moment for 11,600 yen. That's without shipping. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description below if you're interested. And this here is Tech Guyan's cover illustration Kie Okiyama regular version. She did come with an Ami Ami exclusive. Unfortunately, because I bought the second hand, I only got the figure. I didn't get the mouse pad that she was meant to come with. So I bought the second hand off of Ami Ami for 10,250 yen with shipping, or 140 New Zealand dollars. She is the same size as the suntan version just over here, 1 to 1.5 scale figure, and she is also fully cast offable. So as I said before, her clothes come fully off. And the quality is item A, box B. Box B means that there might be some damage to the box itself. The only thing that I could see is that the bit here isn't completely stuck down. That's the only damage I saw. She released in June of 2015 and at the moment she is unavailable to buy. You can't find her anywhere on Ami Ami, new or pre-owned. If I find a link to where you can buy this second hand from Ami Ami, I'll make sure to put it in the description below. But if there's no link down there, then you can't buy her. So with all that being said and done, let's go and have a look at both of these figures and see what their boxes look like. As I said, I'm doing it a little bit differently, so I hope that you enjoy uh, my different editing. <laughs> so here you have the two figures. It's a little bit of a shame that we don't have the different variants of the figures on the box instead of just having the pink variant. We have the Daiki logo up in the top left hand corner on the back, and you see on this box you do get a mouse pad for the pink variant. I however didn't get that. On the other side you see another picture of the pink variant with Tech Guyan. And down on the left hand corner you see that there's the little sticker to show that it is authentic. We'll open her up, as you see there's the Daiki sticker there on the front, so that's great. Once you get the box open, a lot of the box is just a standard box, so there's no patterns on the inside, except for the part where you open up this next flap. You see that there is a blue pattern with some snowflakes. We'll pull the two figures out. They are rather heavy, which I found rather interesting. You see the base on the bottom, and then the two figures sitting inside. It's all sealed up well by sellotape so you can tell that they haven't been opened. These are second hand but at the same time they have not been opened so it's great to see. You get the top plastic off and you see that there is already a bunch of plastic inside to keep everything nice and safe. They come with snowboards which I find rather cute. And once again, that's packaged nicely as well. 
on the back of the pink one there's pink pink and on the back of the blue one there's just a standard pattern they come with socks which is rather interesting going out snowboarding you wouldn't think that they'll be sitting in their socks but it's nice to have that variation the socks do have a lot of nice shading and it's molded very well I quite like all the ruffles so they do look quite good If we take a little closer look at the pink variant as we take off all the plastic you see that they do come with some snow goggles. She has a lot of plastic all around her, they do come with some snow boots which are rather cute as well. We'll take a closer look at everything once we've got all the plastic off. On the back, as you see, we have the base. And it's a pretty standard base. It's a little bit of a shame that it's just the black and they didn't make it look like that she's sitting in snow or something. In my opinion, it does look a little bit like a frisbee. Here's the blue variant. Once again, nicely packaged. A lot of plastic all around her. You can take off her head, but it looks like that there's a way to actually get that off. You have to take her arm off first, as you see, and then you do have to take the scarf off before you can take her head off. So we'll take the scarf off now, once we get all this plastic off of her. The scarf is reasonably easy to take off. It's very malleable and it does come off rather simply. And it looks like that you have to take the head off to be able to take the bra off. So there's the bra. Now if we take a look at both figures side by side, as you see she has a lot of different pieces of clothing the skirt comes off, it's a little bit difficult to get off at first but you can be a little bit rougher with these types of things. We've got the bra off of the pink one and now if we take a look at the heads, as you see they've got some snow goggles on which is rather adorable. They don't come off however so don't bother about trying to get these off because they're actually stuck down. Their hair is placed rather interesting because it goes in a way that the scarf will sit on it. The one thing I must say about their hair also is that there is nice shading and nice texturing all through the hair. Here are the scarves. They have little pinholes there to get them on and off. It looks like that the blue one seems to stick together a little bit better than the red one. It has a lot of nice painting on it, it has a lot of nice shadowing and I think that it's a rather nice touch that they've actually got them. Here are the bikini bras. As you see on the back they have a little bow and then you can just snip and unsnip it. So I actually quite like that. Instead of having to force the bra off of the figure you can do it that way. Take a quick look at the arms, as you see they've got little armbands, one pink and one blue. They've got a nice sheen to it, a nice finish, and each hand has different coloured nail polish. Here's the skirt, as you see this is how you snip them together, they've got the same style as everything else on this figure. It snips together rather well, but unfortunately that seam line is rather noticeable. I don't like the paint job so much on the pink, it has this grey look to it, so I definitely rather the blue over the pink. Next up we're going to look at the snowboards. As you see here, they are rather interactive, you can pull the little tabs out and put them back in, so they look actually rather realistic 
to a normal snowboard, which I love. The fact that they put that realism in it was actually quite nice. The top of the snowboard has a bit of a nice sheen to it, it's nice and glossy. And then if we look at the bottom, you'll see that it has a pattern and the pink one has pink pink. I am just in love with these snowboards, they are just too adorable. Next we'll take a look at the boots. This is another thing that I love about this figure, is just all the different accessories that it comes with. The boots are well made, they've got a lot of shading, they've got a nice mould to them, and even at the bottom they've got a left and a right shoe. They indicate it by L and R, which is just a rather nice touch. Now on to the underwear, they've got some ruffles to make it look like that they would look like they're on the figure. The paint job is nice, once again we've got the same type of pins to make them stay on the figure. These ones look a little bit more flimsy though, it looks like that they won't stay in as well. It actually looks like that the pink one is having a bit of trouble actually pinning together. Now we'll take a closer look at the pink variant. As you see the skin is rather nice, it's been moulded really well. Got a lot of different colours on the skin to make it look nicely shaded. The breasts are also nice and perky. On the vagina there is actually no vagina, we don't have any genitals whatsoever, there's just a bit of a line and a hole that looks like a bum hole, but that's it, which is a real shame. Now on to the coffee coloured, the blue variant. Her skin is beautiful. It doesn't have as much shading, but as you see she has tan lines, and some of the tan lines are a lot more softer than others to indicate where you would have more clothing on than others. It looks like an actual tan line, which I absolutely love. These figures are nice and curvy, and once again the coffee coloured skin figure does not have any genitals, just a line and a bum hole. We'll take a closer look at these figures in 360 view. They're on an interesting angle for the way that they're sitting. It's a real shame that there's nothing on the bottom of the blue variant's snowboard where the pink variant has pink pink. The blue variant is just a standard pattern. From this angle you can definitely see that seam line on the figure's skirt, which is a real shame. I'm rather disappointed about that. The moulding for the skirt isn't the greatest up the top either, you can see a few imperfections here and there. Once again, one of my favourite parts of this figure would probably have to be the snowboard. The snowboard is a really nice touch. Everything seems to be sitting quite nicely together, and as you see she has a nice looking paint job on her fingernails. If we come back up, now you get a very good look at that seam line on that skirt. It's such a shame. You can see the scarf. The scarves are rather cute. They have a little bit of shading here and there. And then we have a closer look at her hair and her face. Her face is really cute. I love that little expression on her face. On to the blue variant. And once again you see that seam line, it's just as obvious in the blue as it is on the pink. I love her skin, I love her skin colour, just the soft coffee skin. And as you see you can see a little bit of her tan line poking out from underneath her bra and underneath her underwear which is rather cute. You get to take a little bit more of a closer look at those boots, they have so much detail in them and I absolutely love it.
She has a little bit of a different colour nail polish as the lighter variant, which is rather nice. And as you see, her hair, I think it has a little bit more of a lighter colour to it than the light variant, to be honest. Have a closer look at these two together with their socks on. Once again, I don't think that you'd be really putting them in their socks unless you've got them sitting naked. I think it looks a bit strange with them wearing their bikini and then the socks and then with their scarves. But in saying that, I am happy that I've got the socks to kind of choose between. If we take off the skirt, you can see that the underwear does not sit properly. The underwear does not snip very well onto these figures. You can tell that it's not sitting right on the coffee variant on the blue side. And then as you come along, you can see on the pink side it's not even snipped together. Now taking a look at the lighter variant naked. I love their curves. I love their breasts. I love them sitting naked. I think they look really nice naked. She has a nice colour to her, lots of different shading. I feel she does look a little bit strange without her scarf on because the hair is sitting in a bit of a weird way. It's sitting in a way that you would have the scarf on instead of having it off. But looking past that, I think they look really nice naked. I think my favourite one naked though would have to be the coffee variant. Just seeing all those tan lines, I think it really makes the figure work. The tan lines are nice and soft, they're harsher in some areas. As I said before, you see how she's got her socks on, which makes a lot more sense. It's a little bit of a shame though that you can't take off their goggles. I actually thought that they were removable, and I feel that they should have really been removable. Just because of, I don't know, it looks a bit strange with them still having the goggles on. Seeing them side by side, and they look beautiful together. And as you see, they're sitting on their standard black base. And I think that base is a waste of an opportunity. They should have made it that it looked like that they're sitting in the snow. It would have made it look so much better. Instead of just having a standard black base. So I've had these two figures here for quite a while now. It's been a few months. And when I first wanted to go and buy these, I couldn't really decide which one I wanted more. The non-tan version or the tan version. So I decided to go and buy both. Now that I see them both side by side, I can definitely say that I like the tan version the best. I feel that her coffee skin is just really nice and soft and it's really beautiful. The one thing that I really love about this figure is her tan lines. The tan lines look so cute. I think that it looks really nice on this figure and they've even got a bit of a softer tone to it when it goes back to her normal skin tone from the lighter colour. It looks really nice and I actually really, really like it. The sculpt on the figures is actually really nice. I really like how this figure is sculpted and I love how curvy they are. They're not overly skinny, but they're not overweight. They're just the perfect size. When it comes to their nipples, I actually really like them. I love the colour. I find that they're really cute, perky pink. When it comes to open mouths on figures, it's actually really hard to get it right. And this figure actually does it well. It does it right. And I find that their expression is really cute. I must say that the pose on this figure is actually really interesting. But unfortunately, because of the way that they are posed and the way that the direction of their head is pointing, you can only really display it in a certain amount of ways. There's only a certain amount of angles that you can have them because of the way that they're facing, really. Which is a bit of a shame. I absolutely love the scarf. I think it's a really nice touch that they've got a scarf around their neck. Unfortunately, it looks a bit weird when you take the scarf off because their neck looks a bit disjointed. It's in a weird angle and it just doesn't look quite right when it's not wearing their scarf. Even though the neck does look a bit disjointed, the scarf hides it really well. If we look at the figure's hands, they've got different colours to suit the different skin tones. It's really nice and it's got a really nice shiny finish. It looks like that they're wearing nail polish. 
The upside with buying both of these figures is that you can mix and match their clothing. Unfortunately you can't remove the goggles so they're going to be stuck with the goggles that they came with. But you can go and change them for the different coloured clothes. In my opinion I like the blue clothes better than the pink clothes. The blue clothes actually is a nice contrast to the pale skin as well as the tan skin. So that's definitely one of the reasons why I love the blue over the pink. I found it was a bit of a shame that you couldn't remove the goggles. I thought that they were removable when I first opened this. And it feels like that you should be able to remove them. Don't try, trust me, I actually did try and you could actually damage the figure if you try to remove them. The boots that come with this figure is actually really cute. If you look at the bottom you can see an L and an R to indicate left or right. So you know which ones to put them on. I found that was a rather nice touch to tell you the truth. The snowboards that come with each individual figure are different. If you look at the designs you can see that they have different designs on the back. Which I thought was rather cool. The clips that are attached to the board are surprisingly functional. You can either have the tab slid in or you can have it sitting out. So there's a lot of different ways that you can display this figure. The best part of the figure in my opinion is the bra. It's easily removable via a joint and you don't have to worry about damaging the figure when you cast it off. I wish that a lot of other figures went and had this type of design so then you don't have to worry about actually damaging the figure when you want to take their clothes off. Now onto the negatives and there are a few. Firstly, getting the head back onto the figure itself is a right pain. It's mainly because of the angle that it's sitting. It's a bit awkward so it makes it very difficult to actually get on. Secondly, the arm. The arm falls off way too easily. You're meant to be able to take it off so then you can change it out of her clothes. But you might just be holding her and all of a sudden it will just fall off, which I absolutely hate. I must say I do like the armband. It's rather cute and it's got a nice shiny finish. So that's a plus, but I hate how loose the arm actually is. Thirdly are the genitals. There are no genitals. There's no detail there. There's only a little bit of an indentation to make it look like there's a slight genital there, maybe. But... There's no detail whatsoever. I like to interact with my figures and look at them and sure it may not make a difference when it's sitting on the shelf but if you want to actually look at the figure and look up close to it you want to be able to see something instead of just seeing a smooth surface. And finally the biggest issue in my opinion are the panties. They don't fit. There is no conceivable way that I can make these panties fit. They are just too small. I've tried numerous different ways to try and get them to sit properly and they just don't. Trust me, I've tried all the different ways possible. I've had these for a very long time now and the fact that I can't get the panties to snip together is just terrible. I absolutely hate it. Because of the way that the underwear sits, you really can't have them displayed just in their underwear by themselves. It looks really weird if you go and take the underwear off and you have the skirt on because of how high the skirt rides. So it's a real shame that you can't have them in their underwear. And that's part of the reason why I put them like this, where they're naked and they've just got their scarf on. I know it's a bit uninspired, but it's just the best way that I feel that they can be displayed in my opinion. The underwear bulges when you've got them on underneath the skirt and it looks even worse when you've got the skirt off. So there's no conceivable way that I could display them in just their underwear or the underwear with the bikini because it just looks odd. Actually speaking of the skirt itself, the seam line that is on the side of the skirt is really noticeable which is a real pity because the skirt is actually rather cute. And speaking of the skirts themselves, when I look at the colour of the skirts, I love the blue. Once again, the blue looks really nice. But the pink, I'm not a huge fan of the pink. And that's mainly because there's this grey look to it, like that hasn't been painted properly. Or they tried to make it look like that there's a bit of a shimmer of white or something, but it just turned grey. Or it looks like that there's a grey scale under it and it hasn't been painted properly. I don't think that's the case, but that's the way that it makes me feel. And it just feels like that the skirt and the bra itself are both dirty and I don't like it at all. Overall, I paid over 250 New Zealand dollars. I overpaid massively, so if you can get these figures for around $50 each, then pick them up. But 
don't be surprised if you're disappointed with a few things here and there because I sure was. Looking back now I am rather disappointed with these figures and I actually partially wish that I didn't buy them. There were so many other figures that I could have bought and if I had known that they didn't have any genitals or the underwear didn't fit properly or even the pink looked dirty then I wouldn't have bought them to tell you the truth and that's why I make these videos so then you don't have to come across the same problem that I have where you go and buy something kind of blind pretty much and then come across all these problems. I want to save you money and I want you to know all the things that you need to know before buying a figure. I really do feel that it pays to research before you go and buy a figure. I didn't do any research on this and I made a huge mistake in buying them. So I want to stop anyone that goes out to buy a figure to make the same mistakes that I have. And once again, that's why I make these videos for you all. So then you don't make the same mistakes that I have. And that was my figure review of Tech Guyan. What do you think of these figures? Do you like them? Have you got them? Let me know in the comments below. And also let me know if you've had any regrets in buying figures. Especially if they're cast offable. Which ones were they? Leave them all down there because I look forward to reading it all. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a big like and share it out to all your friends. I'd really appreciate it and it helps me out a lot. If you're new around here, hi, I'm Bibi and I make these types of videos all the time. And I've got plenty of other stuff on my channel. So make sure to go check my channel for anime news, anime figure reviews and anime recommendations. There's plenty on there for you to watch so I'm pretty sure you won't get bored. If you want to chat to me and see what I've been up to, I'm on social media. I've got a Twitter and a Facebook and I'm online constantly. So make sure to come like and follow me on there. And if you want to see more from me and more videos like this, then please make sure to subscribe for a wide range of anime content. From Moe to Mika, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!